Hey guys, it's Rizzy Roy, and I'm finally back after a very long hiatus from Smash Bros and content creation in general. I've been playing a lot of other games like League and Overwatch, and I really like those games. I was thinking about doing content on them, but I came back to Smash because you know I miss it. It's like my competitive roots. This is where this is the first game I like really competed in, and I can't help but notice the state of the game is a little. It's kind of bad right now. I'll be honest. Um, I was gonna do a little series about me getting all my characters to Elite Smash. I just went ahead and did it. I, I saw the replay save, so I might like maybe do like a video on one of the replays or something. I'm not sure. But while doing that, I realized that we might be in the final days of Smash. What I mean by that is right now Wi-Fi is toxic. Like there's there's nothing but Sonics and Steves and just campers. Like there's just nothing but like toxicity running around the game. And generally, it's not the most enjoyable experience. And I would understand why a lot of people at the moment would want to quit the game and. How do you enjoy the game? That, that, that's the real question. How do you still find the enjoyment like you did in the good old days? And what I'm here to say is you shouldn't. I, don't, I mean, you can still play Elite Smash in arenas, but I think you probably should start going to Discord servers now. Like, you should probably join the main crew server of Smash Bros where you can find other servers. And then from there, like, I, I'm in, uh, I think I'm in Beatdown. There's a few other ones. You can join like Beatdown or Trips' Lair and stuff like that. And then from there, you want to match me. Because like the random online right now is very toxic and just the, the connection's horrible. You might want to quit the game. I'll be honest, it's, it's really bad. Half, half my friends quit. I'm the only like one of the last people left playing this game right now of my friend group. So that's my first solution I would recommend to mitigate the damage that's being done to the game. The second solution is that if you solo main a character, if they're not particularly broken on Wi-Fi, then I recommend you probably get yourself a counter Wi-Fi character. Some people say Roy's working on Wi-Fi. I beg's different. I think he's decent on Wi-Fi. So to deal with some toxic matchups, i.e. Steve and stuff, I got a Pokemon trainer because I think they genuinely are just a little bit easier to play when it's lagging for me personally. And I also got um, a Terry to deal with like people that are mashing really hard because he can mash them back. <laughs> that's all i really gotta say is pick up a counter meta character join a discord server and hang tight next smash bros is coming soon <laughs> this is ritzy roy signing out